so hello everyone today i have received this hp laptop so let me show you motherboard first so this is i think d704p or c781p motherboard may be there so let's check first what is its condition right now right now my dc supply is set to 19 volts 4 ampere so let me just turn on my dc supply as you can see it is ticking 9 milliamps and again it is going to zero and as you can see our charger led is glowing it means we have v in supply is okay and sio is also working fine so let me just try to open this okay i think we have power button over here i have pressed power button and it's going to 51 milliamps okay the laptop should start after pressing power button but it is consuming some sort of amperage which is 51 again it is dropping to zero so what we can do now in such a condition so first of all we have to check voltages which voltages are generated and which are not generated so i have set my voltmeter so i will check 5 volt Okay, this may be okay here we have some sort of okay let me just try to power on okay first of all we will check from v in section so as you can see led is glowing so we have 19 volt trail over here okay okay it is above 19 volt let me press like that okay as you can see 19.9 volt is available over here in board let me check i think on this capacitor we should get okay as you can see on this capacitor we are getting 19 volts what about 5 volt and 3.3 volt this is the coil for ram section mm, let's check this voltage this is not available so first of all let me just remove its power button then we will try to power on and check one by one voltages okay, so i have opened this switch as you can see so let me just turn on my dc supply as you can see we have adapter led glowing first of all we will check lead switch and i think this will be available over here okay as you can see this is the lead switch so we will just check supply on this pin it is 3.2 on this pin it should be if this lead switch is okay as you can see on this pin also we have 3.1 okay means our lead switch is okay again we will check the conditions okay whenever i try to power on it is going to 51 milliamps and again coming back to 1 volts as, as, as you can see uh, 0 milliamps as you can see again i have pressed power button so let me check these two coils are 5 volt and 3.3 volt so no voltage on this coil no voltage on this coil and same with this coil okay so we have we in passing as you can see on this point we are getting 19 volts currently dc meter is set to 200 that's why it is 19.2 okay so we have we in but our 5 volt and 3 volt point 3 voltage is not showing as you can see cmos is also okay so next step which you have to do check your impedance of each and every coil in your motherboard so we are going to check that first of all 19 volt impedance you can check check over here oh sorry so on this point as you can see 19 volt impedance is nearly 500 it means that it is okay so next 5 and 3.3 volt coil this is the coil so let me just keep multimeter and it is giving me 21 okay which is very less means it should give me nearly 200 to 300 
but it is giving me okay very low impedance okay this may be the cause uh, okay next this coil as you can see it is giving me 325 it means we have this coil is working okay then this coil it should gain nearly 100 okay 182 this is uh, this coil is for ram supply so we have pc 3l ram 1.235 uh, voltage is generated on this point and that is also off. means this coil is giving faulty reading means we are getting nearly 20 mil, uh, 20 impedance which is not okay so we have core supply okay 61 that is also okay and this is a bios pin number 8 okay that is also okay so we have issue with this let me check so i was just checking and i found something issue some issue let me show you so as you can see so what i have done right now this is our 5 volt coil and this is our 3.3 volt coil and let me show you the board number it's like bdl 50 LED 703P that's the board number and as you can see this is coil for 5 volt this is coil for 3.3 and this is coil for our RAM voltage so as you can see to this coil we have a jumper and I am just I have just removed that jumper as you can see and we are going to check impedance levels on those jumper as you can see this is 5 volt coil and it is showing short so first of all we will check on this coil directly okay on coil it is, it is showing me 21 means we have issue with this and at output we will check on this pad okay on this pad okay as you can see at output it is giving me 532 it means we have short in this area only that's why it is not working and we have dual mosfet means on single package we have two mosfets so let me just try to replace this first and check for shorting this mosfet may be the faulty that's why it is going uh, becoming like this so let me just quickly replace this mosfet so till now we were knowing that we have short uh, shorting in this uh, what you can say mosfet uh, uh, or this ic so i have done one thing i have replaced both uh, first mosfet after replacing mosfet the shorting was was still there so i have replaced this uh, our ic so now let's check whether we have so, uh, solved our shorting issue so this was the mosfet and this was the ic which i have replaced which is responsible for dc to c ic we can see which is responsible for 5 and 3.3 .3 always voltage so now let's check its impedance still now i have not made a jumper over here as you can see the jumper is not there still now so let's check the impedance as you can see right now the impedance is 500 and at output side as you can see it is also 500 means we have solved our shorting issue before this now it is giving 520 before the uh, this it was giving 20 so let me just make a jumper and just try to power on by uh, giving a power we were working on this laptop so as i told you i have replaced this dual mosfet as you can see there are two mosfet in single package and this is a 5 volt 3 uh, 5 and 3.3 .3 volt i see now let's check whether it is giving us display or not so let me just power on as you can see i have powered on and laptop has powered on and we have display also this was in today's case study in which we were having 5 volt line short it was giving us low impedance which was 20 milliamp uh, 20 impedance so it should be uh, nearly 300 or 350 range it should be between the 200 to 300 or 500 range so it was giving us low impedance so i have just replaced that mosfet and that 5 volt 3.3 volt I see and we have solved our problem and this was LA-D703P board okay so thank you
सब्सक्राइब फॉर मोर वीडियोज़